Okay, so some people have asked me how uh, how to make particles come out of your eyes when you blink, uh, which I think is pretty cool, and I thought it was totally easy. And when I actually tried to make it happen, it turned out it was not super straightforward. So I thought I would uh, I thought I'd show everybody how I pulled it off. Um, so first off, the most important thing to realize is that I'm lazy, and I'm not going to make my own texture for this. So I'll just use the textures that come with the Spark AR uh, particles tutorial. Um, then I'm going to create a material for that texture. And uh, it's going to be heart uh, particles. Uh, actually, it's particles. Uh, copyright me. Trademark my man. Uh, and then uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll throw a face tracker. Um, actually, I'll just throw on a full face mesh, which will give us a free tra face tracker along with it, and no extra charge. So first, let's add some particle, uh, some particle systems. I'll just add one particle system for the left eye. I'll name it Left Eye Lopez, uh, and her uh, lesser known sister, Right Eye Lopez. There you go. And you can see the Lopez twins are coming out of our hero's nose right now, but we really, I can hit Control Alt P. I really want it, want them to be coming out of his eyes. So first we have to do face stuff. So let's find the face. Insert patch. And then face select. We just want to pick the first one. We're not choosy. The, the first face that comes along is fine. And now out of that one, we'll want to know the eye location. So I think the best we've got here are eyelids. There we go. So we picked the first face. We've got the eyelid. And note left eye and right eye Lopez are children of the face tracker. So the relative position of the left eye is what we need. Because they're all they're all parented to the face tracker. So there. Um so now it's coming out of his left eye. Let's move it on top of the mesh so that we can see it a little bit more clearly, I guess. Actually, just make the mesh invisible so we can see. There, now that's coming out of his left eye. And uh, let's do the same for Miss Right Eye Lopez. There we go. Um, and for both of these, Let's assume them. Let's give it the material of particles. And I haven't finished making my particles. I see. So particles. What is your texture? Your texture is this there. Now he's shooting hearts out of his eyes. The left eye is a little off. Oh, I see. Left eye center, please. And in both of them. Uh. Big love to the Lopez's here. Let's increase the scale of the particles. There we go. So now he is he's like me. He's always seeing with love. Let's scroll down here. Now I also want to know when he blinks, right? Because blinking is what's going to be controlling. So which face? And once again, I said we're not picky, so we'll just take the first face and get the blink out of it. And then pretty much, um, we actually just want to control the birth rate of these particles. So I'll just move these guys up here. We know they're in a good place. We don't need to pay attention to that. Um, we want 
uh, delay, which you'll see in a second why that matters. You stay down here, delay. And um, we'll want also uh, if then else programmer's choice. My favorite of the, uh, I actually don't have a favorite patch, but logic is always nice. So, so here we have a delay. We have a switch. Oh, we have a if and else, and we need a switch. So when he blinks, the switch turns on, and 0.2 seconds later, the switch turns off. That switch controls this condition, and this condition is connected to the birth rate, and so 20, 20 to every time he blinks. And we'll do the same thing for Senorita Right Eye Lopez over here. We'll, um, Connect her birth rate. There we go. Every time he blinks, some hearts come out of his eyes. And we can actually choose, like, oh, that's, that might be too much. So let's say, let's try to get it down to just one heart out of his eyes every time he blinks. There we go. Ta da! So much love. And so much love to all of you for watching this.